We'll guide you through how to download and install mod packs in Minecraft. If you find this guide useful then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Let's get started. Firstly go and open up a web browser, personally I use Chrome but you can use any and come to a search engine. But before we get any further, a mention to our sponsor Apex Hosting. They're my go to Minecraft server host, they've got DDoS protection, 24 7 servers and support so you can get help anytime which you need it ultra low latency and one click install mod packs as well. So in this case, if you wanna start playing mod packs with your friends, they're a great way to go and do it because you can install them on your server and you can then play together. And at the moment you can get 25% off your first invoice as well. So I'll put a link down below in the pin comment and description if you're interested. But back to the guide. So the easiest way to install mod packs on Minecraft is by using something called Cursed Forge. So what you want to do is go and type it in like so. It saves you doing a ton of work, so go and search for it and then go to curseforge.com and go to the top right and click on Get CurseForge App. And then what you want to do is just go and click on Download Standalone, that should be fine. And then the download will begin. And what we then need to do is come and close off your browser and go and open up your file explorer at the bottom here and head over to the left and click on downloads and then you've got curseforge and all you need to do is double click on it like this and go through the installation process you'll need to agree to the terms of use and privacy policy which i do and you also need to be 18 and then you can press next and you can go and install it as well it's super important though for CurseForge to work, you already need to have Minecraft installed on your computer and you also need to own it, which means you've gone and bought it before. So that's super important. If you don't have Minecraft or installed on your computer, this won't work. When you open up CurseForge for the first time, you need to go and choose Minecraft just here. You'll get taken to the My Mod Packs page. Now I've already got some mod packs here. But what you can do is go and click on browse and then you can see all these different mod packs you can go and get. There are so many here so you can scroll through and you can also search for them at the top and you can also use the sorting tool and filters as well if you're looking for something specific. So in this case let me go and check out this mod pack here. I'll go and click on it and to go and get it all you need to do is go and click on install like this and then it will start downloading it all so you can just sit back and wait. After everything is finished downloading and installing, a play button will appear to the right. It will also be appearing in my mod packs as well. So then you can go and click on play. It's gonna start loading and then your Minecraft launcher will open up. That's why it's essential to have Minecraft already installed and then you'll be taken to this play page. As you can see, we've got the correct version and release selected here and you can press play. You need to agree to this because you're playing with mods. And now we can go and get into this. The mod pack is now loaded. So let me go and get into a single player world and show you what it looks like. And now here we are in the world and this mod pack seems really cool. And of course there are so many out there which you can check out on CurseForge as well. I've now come back to the CurseForge app and I want to show you how you can make your own mod packs. So to go and do that, you want to go and click on browse like so. And then you want to go and choose the filter for mod packs just to mods like this because now what we can do is select mods which we want to go and create a mod pack with. Now it's important to note that obviously the mods they all need to be for the same version of Minecraft and also some aren't compatible as well. So you could browse through these mods here and then start deciding which you want to go and create a pack with. For example let's say I wanted to use this mod I could go over to the right and click on install and it then says where would you like to install it what we can do is go and create a new profile and it says a profile is a collection of mods. So I can click there and I'll go and name this Guide Realm, just like so. You can go to the advanced settings, but that's all fine with me. And then you can go and click on create just like so. And now it started the install process and I have to go and download it. And on this page here, you can then see what version this mod pack is for. And in this case, it's for 1.20.2. So now let's come back to browse and we'll go and filter it for mods again. And now we can go and find more mods to go and add to our mod pack. Let's say I wanted this mouse tweaks mod here. I could then go over to the right and click on install and I could click on select a profile as we already created the mod pack. I can go and select the profile to install the mod two and then press install and then it's going to be installed. This will only work though if the mods are compatible and they're for the same version as well. So you can go and continue to add more and then once you're finished you can click on play and you can then go and launch the game with it. Your Minecraft launch will open and you can click play and then Minecraft will open. So I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, please leave a like.